Okay, will a TI 8384 do derivatives? Not algebraically, but it will numerically. And that can be quite useful on test. And, well, not in life. <laughs> okay, I gotta clarify that. If you're an engineer, a scientist, yes, it might be useful, but for normal people, no. This calculator does far more than you would ever do in your real life. Okay? So, let's get it set up to do some derivatives and make our lives easier because I like easier. Screen protector, fingerprints, smudge is real easy on this. That's not so fun. And we're going to go over for the new 84 and the old 84. The old 84 works the same way as the TI-83. Okay? So we're going to do this twice. So what I'm going to do is turn it on. Okay? I'm going to press Y equals. So Y equals right there. And I'm going to clear these because I don't need them. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and zoom this a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. All right, I'm going to go down to Y3. And then what I'm going to do is press math and then down to 8. So I press math. If I scroll down to 8, it says end derivative. Now that is the old way the calculator used to do this. That's the way the 84s do it, the older 84s and the 83s, okay? When, when you press enter on that, you're going to see your calculator screen looks a lot different from what the command looked like. They're trying to do some updates in here and make things look pretty. The problem is it slows the calculator down, so this one typically does these problems faster. But that's irrelevant. Now what we want this thing to do is we've got to fill in some boxes on this thing to make it useful, okay? So I got the thing written out generically. What we want to do, hey, maybe this pen about the same color. What we want to do is put an X here, a Y one here, and an X here. And the calculator will autofill in this box over here for us. So I press the X button. Remember to get the Y one here, you press VARS over to Y VARS. I'm off screen, don't you love that? I'm zoomed too much. Press VARS over to Y VARS. Okay, so if I press VARS, let me zoom out a little bit because I'm off screen. It's no good to be off screen. You press VARS over to Y VARS, press enter, enter again, and you get the Y1 in there. So now I press the arrow button over and I just put an X in the last box. Okay, let me hold it up so everyone can see it. This is how it should look. That has the derivative set up. And I'll show you how to do what how useful that is in a minute. Okay? Now, when I work on the new older 84, we're going to go through a pretty similar procedure. So let me grab it, and we have what's written out here. But for the old 84, it's going to look a bit different on the screen. So I'm going to press Y equals. I'm going to clear these because I don't need them. I'm going to go to Y3. I'm going to press math, 8. This time it looks like the command line that you saw. So it's not going to be completely the same in here. We're going to have n derive. And what I need to do is put y1, comma, x, comma, x. Okay. Now you already know how to get the y1. You press vars over to y vars, press enter twice. The comma is right above the 7. So you hit comma, x, comma, x. Oh, don't you hate it when you push the wrong button? comma x close parenthesis okay now that's typed in the calculator this way now for both calculators they are both set up to take the derivative plug in x for whatever you stick on y1 it's going to be the same thing from here on both so other than the setup it's not going to be any different okay so let me turn a piece of paper over and let's go over how to do this let's say my f of x and i'm going to do something simple is 3x squared minus 12x. And I want to know what f prime of 2 is. Now we could do that by hand. Finding a derivative isn't that hard. You would bring the 2 down, multiply by the front, so you get 6x, subtract 1, which leaves it as 2, minus, and the derivative of 12x is 12. Then you could come in here and plug 2 in. So you have 6 times 2 minus 12, and that comes up with 0. 
okay? So doing it by hand isn't that hard. That's not the point here. What if your teacher goes nuts and puts some really ugly equation in and wants you to find it? So going back, I want to find it for this on both calculators. We already know the answer is zero. So what we're going to do on both is we're going to press Y equals, and it's the same on both, we're going to go up to y1 and we're going to type in that 3x squared minus 12x. So 3x squared minus 12x. Okay. And I can do the same thing on this one. 3x squared minus 12x. Okay. And after that, we're going to hit second quit on both so we get to the home screen. Okay. Now, all I want to do on the home screen is type y3 of 2, and that'll give me my derivative. So I press vars over to y vars, press enter, go, no, go down to y3, put parenthesis 2, close parenthesis, press enter, and you notice it gives you 0, the same thing we got by doing it by hand. So let me do it with this one, because it's going to be the same thing. Vars over to y vars, press enter, we go down to y3. Parenthesis zero, close parenthesis, press enter. Uh oh. Attempted use a variable or function where it is not valid. Okay, so I'm probably mistyped something in here. So let me press y equals. Yep, see, I typed it in y4, not y3. Sometimes these things happen. Well, good thing is you get to watch me do it again. So I math eight. I put in x here. We put y1 here by heading vars over to y vars, pressing enter twice, and then down down here at the bottom X we just put an X okay now on the home screen I have Y3 is 0 there I can press enter and now it's giving me negative 12 because I didn't do want to do Y3 of 0 I wanted to do Y3 of 2 so let me press vars over to Y vars enter go down to Y3 put parenthesis 2 close parenthesis enter and it is giving me 0 so that's a quick way of getting the calculator to take derivatives. That can be quite useful. You can graph derivatives with that and all sorts of other things. We'll talk about graphing derivatives with that later. So I just wanted to show you how to use the calculator to find a derivative, okay? Which some of you will find useful. All right, I'm gonna turn these off and hopefully that's useful.